Hello and welcome to another update video about Dot. Dot continues to be in this um, yeah, very choppy, very sloppy corrective wave pattern at the moment. We um, still see the move up as a potential wave one, okay? Um, no problem with that. Even though this wave four in one was very, very shallow, also very short in duration. I mentioned that in previous videos, so I don't fully trust it. But as long as we're holding support, it's okay. And that is at $3.96. That's the 78.6 retrace of the move to the upside that occurred between the 18th, 19th of October, all the way up here to around about the 13th of November. So up here, the correction started. And because we can count five waves to the upside, we're currently seeing this as a wave two correction which is a three wave corrective pattern. There are different ways how you can count this, okay? Um, I've got on the chart here a WXY structure. The assumption would be that we completed an A, B, C in wave W, then an X wave, which is also an ABC structure. And now we're dealing with an A, B, C in wave Y. And it seems to be following some kind of a yeah, trend line here to a degree. Yeah, it tried to break out, failed so far. It can still do that, absolutely. But this wave count particularly is valid as long as we're holding above the X wave high at $5.55. A break above it would not necessarily be bullish. It could just mean that this um, X wave, for example, is extending. You know, there are still other ways. Um, the, the, the thing is, at the moment, you can clearly see it. The rally is very, very clearly just corrective. A, B, C in wave B. There's nothing impulsive here yet. Nothing that would tell me that the next wave up has started, which would be a third wave rally. Okay. And we talked about possible targets for a third wave, and they are sort of estimated at the moment. Um, based on the latest lows, but if we make another low in the yellow support area, which I would currently like to see, at least I'm watching for it um, for various reasons, then um, we're talking about at least $8.66. That would be ideal for the third wave, possibly $9.20. That aligns with the inverse head and shoulders target. So we also have an inverse head and shoulders pattern here potentially on the chart that is unfolding, um, but that would really imply a larger right shoulder, okay? So we've got the left shoulder, the head, and then here the right shoulder. With the neckline here, yeah, neckline is around $5.80. That needs to break for a successful breakout. We don't need a healthy right shoulder for a breakout, very important. It's just that if it builds and if it forms, it wouldn't be bearish. It would simply mean that, yeah, you know, we have a um, potential reversal pattern form here. It can always break out earlier, absolutely. You know, um, it's just that when we have a pattern like that, that forms, it might actually prevent a uh, prevent. It might present an opportunity. So what I'm watching for at the moment is either a break above that yeah, $5.80 level. Actually, the exact swing high of this wave one is at $5.90. Um, but until that happens, I'm watching for lower prices here into the support area just because at the moment to form really a right shoulder, this is a little bit too shallow and too short in duration. So the next FIP levels which are relevant are $4.58 and $4.30. $4.30 would be my favorite. There's a lot of um, stuff going on there. And that is actually the level that I would say um, shows most confluence, you know. Um, we have, for example, a previous breakout point here that was $4.30. And we have the previous low of the left shoulder and the golden ratio at that level. And that's really a key level. $4.30, the 61.8 retracement. Let's see if we do it. It would be quite a bit of a move down. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, it doesn't need it. Yeah, It already touched our support area. If it goes a bit earlier, that's fine. Looks a bit like a bull flag here anyway, that's forming. So maybe a little steep for a bull flag, but acceptable in my opinion. And um, let me just change something. So 
this doesn't fully work. There you go. Yeah, it's it's a bit um, it's very overlapping. It's a bit steep, as I said, for a bull flag, but it looks very choppy. You have all this overlapping price action. It looks very corrective. That is typically what we want to see. And as long as we don't break below the yellow support area, that's all fine. I don't think there is much I can add. I mean, all you need to understand really is that it's very important to understand where the bullish support sits. What I did forget, by the way, is to say that also dot formed here previously a price channel to the downside. It did take the lower boundary line out, but this trend line might still be relevant. And if dot chooses to retest the trend line, that would also be around the $4.30 level. So yeah, there's lots going on around that level. So I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the video description. There's a lot of additional content there that we don't um, have here on YouTube. There's stuff about mindset, um, elite wave, technical analysis. So yeah, check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.